Broad Peak. Broad Peak, the 12th highest mountain in the world at 8,047 meters, is located in the Karakoram Range in northeastern Pakistan. The mountain is located along the western Baltoro Glacier between K2 and Gasherbrum 4. The first westerner who saw the peak was probably Lieutenant T.G. Montgomery. He was surveying the mountains in the area and in 1856 he spotted some extraordinary peaks, which he gave temporary names. K for Karakoram plus a number for the peak. K1, K2, K3 etc. Montgomery later found out K1 had a local name, Masherbrum. K2, still goes under that name, even if some have proposed to rename it Kagori, a name used by some local people. K3, the third peak to be measured by Montgomery didn't have a local name. The summit ridge of the peak is almost 2 kilometers long and therefore British explorer W.M. Conway thought Broad Peak was a suitable name. Conway noted, a fine breadth of mountain splendor, a huge braithorn, as it were, filing the space between K2 and the hidden Gasherbrum. The name won general acceptance, but some zealots on a mission to get rid of all western names wanted a local name on the peak. They did not find any credible name candidates. So they did what they considered second best, they simply translated Broad Peak into Balti, the local Tibetan dialect. The name, Paukin Kangri slash Ri. It became a bit bastardized over the years and is nowadays spelled and pronounced Falcon Kangri, which is completely off the mark as there are no F sounds in Balti. One or two 8,000 meters peaks? A sometimes raging debate about Broad Peak having one of two real summits has been going on for a long time. Most people agree on the fact the central peak is not a separate summit, but the advocates in favor of counting it as one points at the snow on the column between the summit and the main summit. If the snow are melting due to global warming, Broad Peak Central might qualify as a 15th 8,000 meters peak. Another issue connected to global warming is the fact that the snow on the true summit is melting and the four summit may overtake it in height. This would be welcomed by climbers as the trickiest part of the whole climb would disappear. First Ascents of the Main Summits Broad Peak has three separate summits, Main Summit 8,047 meters, Central Summit 8,016 meters, and North Summit 7,550 meters. The first ascent of the Main Summit was made in 1957 by an Austrian expedition consisting of only four climbing members. Using many of the fixed lines set up by the failed German expedition of 1954, all four summited without using oxygen. Hermann Bull, Fritz Winterseller, Kurt Deenberger and Marcus Schmuck didn't have the help of any haps, high-altitude porters, or guides and the climb was a remarkable success for alpine-style climbing, as it occurred well before the time of small independent teams attempting the highest peaks on Earth. Broad Peak Middle was climbed by five members of Polish expedition, Marek Tiki, Bodin Nauczyk, Kazimierz Glazik, Janusz Kolas, and Andrzej Sikorski. They summited on 28th of July 1975. Ksiki, Nauchik and Sikorsky died during the descent. The leader of this expedition was Janusz Ferensky. JCK helped out with info on this. The North Summit was finally acquired in 1983 by an Italian expedition led by Renato Casarato. Climbing Broad Peak From the first ascent in 1957 to August 2003, Broad Peak was climbed 255 times and had 18 deaths. The fatality rate is therefore about 7% which could be compared with for example Everest which has a death rate of 9%. It is one of the safer 8,000 meters peaks, but the risk of avalanches should never be. Many teams today use the moderate climbing on Broad Peak to acclimatize for a rapid alpine-style ascent of K2. The main route to the summit, via the West Ridge, is moderately strenuous, but like other mountains in the Karakoram Range, weather is often the determining factor. Only five people have climbed twice and no one more than that. To the true summit or not? Broad Peak is at Shkubangma and Cho Oyu a peak where a huge majority of summiteers don't reach the true summit. A lot stop at the four summit and claim to have climbed Broad Peak. In 1994 Hans Kammerlander was sick of this and left a piece of red and purple rope, attached to a ski pole on the summit and asked other climbers what they had seen up there.